And while the Belize tourism board is making all these strides in boosting the country's revenue from visitors, the Department of Civil Aviation is busy meeting air traffic control demands and upgrades. You may recall some months ago there was a strike by air traffic control personnel at the Philip Goldson International Airport, which led to flights being diverted, delayed, and canceled. The plight of the workers was several, including working conditions, state of equipment, and long working hours. Today, we caught up with the director of the Civil Aviation, Lindsay Garbutt, who told us the progress being made. From the time I got here, I recognized that there are some weaknesses that needed to be dealt with. I think I can say, without fear of successful contradictions, that this department did everything in its power to address those issues. But there are other entities that you need to work with to be able to achieve all that you need to achieve. And those entities are pressured because this department is not the only one that is making requests or demands of them. So to the extent that that situation highlighted the necessity to address in a very specific way the air traffic controllers, I think, that it was positive. We have since hired or are in the process of hiring another 12 air traffic controllers. We have six air traffic controllers trainee in addition to those 12 from the Belize Defense Force that are training with us. And this is going to augment the shortage to a great extent of air traffic controllers because there's a lot of pressure being placed on, uh, on people. There were air traffic controllers hired a little while before what you defied as that incident occurred. I think that to the per certainly before I came to work here, I understood very vaguely what was the responsibility of an air traffic controller. Believe me, since I've worked here, I have learned to appreciate the qualities that goes into becoming a good air traffic controller. Like I have said before, I could go out there and hire 10 people with a doctor degree right now, and it would still take me three years to make them into air traffic controllers. It is very complex. It is time consuming. It is very costly. There's a lot of training that takes place and it goes by level. So it's not like I have a construction problem and I get three extra mixers and hire 12 old people and I move forward. This is something that takes time. And so we are building them one by one. Or I should say now 12 by 12, trying to get them up to to where they can become air traffic controllers. And there are different levels. I mean, we hire them at one level, and there's three more levels they have to move up before they are really, or at least two more levels in a marsha. Three. Before you can call them qualified air traffic controllers. The mandate of the Department of Civil Aviation is to regulate and oversee all civil aviation matters in Belize.